Alright. That's the first half of this area of the Mermelair over with. And now, for a really fun slide! Yay! Now, you're actually gonna get a sock at the end of the slide, so be prepared to jump for it. Right here. Okay. That's that sock over with. Now we can switch back to SpongeBob, because I do believe that's actually the last time we're ever gonna use. Yeah. That's the only time you use Patrick, is just for these two missions, I do believe, if not mistaken. So, how sad is that? That's the only time in this entire level we get to play as Patrick. But still, it works. So, first thing you want to do is you want to press this button, because there's actually going to be three buttons you have to press in order to get to the Mermelair security, the Mermelair computer. That's the first button right there, which activates the bridge to those wall jumps. Now, the thing is that the other two buttons are going to activate two walls that you have to use to wall jump up to the computer. So, we have to activate those buttons before we can get to the Mermelair computer. So, and it turns out that both the buttons that activate the two walls are on, are on these uh, two rotating rotating discs. I don't know how to how to say these, but yeah, there's like two of these. There's two of these designs right here that have buttons on one side of them. So that's so that activates the left wall jump right there. We got a checkpoint right here, which is really nice in case we die. Glad they were really I'm so glad that they were really generous about the checkpoints in this game. I, I really appreciate that from the game creators themselves. Come on. Yeah, Arf takes three hits from the bubble bowl thing, so keep that in mind as well. Then we yet again we have another one of these things that'll take us to the third button that we need to get to the Mermelair computer. Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's kill Chuckster right here. And get ourselves. I mean, press ourselves. Press ourselves. Who the hell says that? So, okay, let's just press that button. There you go. Okay. So now with both, wa both walls activated, we can now head on over to the Mermelair computer. And also get a purple shiny object on the way here. Which is always very, very useful. Whoa, that's never happened. That's never ever happened before. That was kind of weird. And he took us all the way to checkpoint. Wow. Okay, well, well, the walls are too act are already activated, so we don't need to do that again. Or do we? Please tell me the. I can't tell right now if the walls are activated, but we'll see here in a second. I don't know why. Well, I can sort of understand in case you thought you're supposed to be Patrick over here. All right. These two wall jumps are activated right away, but not this one right here. Okay, it is, yeah. Yeah, these are the two walls that need to come out in order for you to wall jump up there. In order for them to do that, you have to press those two buttons. <clears throat> so how's everybody doing on this lovely Thursday, January 31st, 2013? I did not need to say the year, because I'm... It's pretty... It gets really annoying. Okay, why am I failing so much of these wall jumps? Right, left, think. What? Dude. You gotta be kidding me right now. You got, you got to be kidding me. You seriously gotta be kidding me. Let's stop being stupid today, actually. <laughs> uh, I'm failing miserably today. I'm so sorry about this, guys. I really am. Like, I'm literally being so retarded today. Thank you. That's, that's seriously, that's all you had to do. I don't know why I made that look so difficult. I don't know why I did. That was a first for me right there. Okay, a golden spatula for nothing. I'll take it. I did not do anything, but okay. In order for me to regain control of the security system, you need to press all the override buttons spread throughout the Mermelair. Hey, wrong voice. You're supposed to use Mer I mean, Microsoft Sam's voice. The first one is here. Press the buttons! Got it! When you have pressed them all, you should return here to press the master shutdown button. You will be rewarded. Return here! Got it! Are you listening to me? Listening! Got it! 
All right, fair enough. Let's uh, let's press this. Uh, this is actually supposed to be the first button they press, and you're supposed to set press the other one. That's on the that I pressed in the in the previous episode. In order to, yeah, that's that's it. That's half of the buns right there. So we are now ready to move on to the second, no, third area of Mermelair. Sorry. Again with the stupidities. Yeah, I can't even talk today. Gary, I see you made your way down to the deepest recesses of the Mermelair. Wow. Oh, you took the elevator. So how do I get to the top of this room? Wow. You're right. I bet those tunnels will take me up to the top. Good thinking, Gary. Or better yeah, we could take the elevator as since that's what Gary did. Okay. Great, we got more chucksters and more hammers and this and that and this and that. Blah 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 blah. So many robots. Since when are there so many robots in this game? Oh wait. Think of a different game, I guess. I don't know. Either that, or I'm just not thinking well enough today, because I've I don't know. I seriously don't know how to explain my stupidity today. I've just been really, really stupid. I am you guys have no idea how sorry I am for this. I, of course, it doesn't mean I'm going to stop recording, but still, it's just... It's just something I have to point out, That's all I'm saying. Um, now, as you're going through these tunnels here, you're going to be dealing with a lot of this. A lot. And when I say a lot, I really mean a lot of this. A lot of these disco floors. Now... As I mentioned, I mentioned two episodes ago that the Mermelair is one of the awesomest levels in the entire game. Now, to be honest, it's not my favorite level of the game. It's one of my it's one of my favorites, but, but it's not my single favorite level of the game. Now, I'm not exactly sure what level of the game actually is my favorite. I do actually have like two levels actually. And that would be the last two levels of the game. Those are my two favorite levels, but I don't know which of the two is my is my actual favorite, like which one's better than the other. But bottom line is the eighth and ninth world of the game are my favorite are my two favorite levels. I just don't know which one is my sole favorite. The Merm Lair, I suppose, would be my third favorite level. And my fourth favorite would probably be I don't know, probably downtown Bikini Bomb, but I'm not sure. Um I'll probably have like a like a full countdown with my favorite on what like my how what am I trying to say here? Like I'll, I'll list all the levels in order from my least favorite to my most favorite at the end of the LP. I guess I could do that for one of the bonus videos or something. I don't know. Um, here on top of this disco floor, we have a, a purple shiny object that's probably worth the. Actually, you don't even have to use the. I was thinking you have to use the bubble bash to get to it, but actually you don't. You just have to use, yeah, you just have to do a double jump. Okay, that works out just fine for us in the end. Now, actually, I think this is the very last uh, one. This will actually lead us to the very top of the room. So, looks like our progress is paid off. And wait, well, not yet. We got one more. One more disco floor, it looks like, and this is probably the biggest one yet. Not gonna lie. Yeah, let's kill this truckster guy. What? What the heck? And this stupid tar bot, which I really, really hate. I hate these guys now. Before I started this let's play, now I hate them even more. Okay. So we're finally at the top of the room, and we have an ARF. Just great. We won't hear be here. Did you just see that? I killed him in one hit. I swear to God, I, that was my first hit, and I killed him in one hit. Well, actually, probably could be that I caught him off guard, because he actually, I think you can simply... Yeah, I think it's mo mo mostly if you catch a robot off guard, you will kill them instantly, so I guess that works out too. Here's the third button. Now there's only one more left. And that'll be in the next next room. Do you want to feed? Yes. This will actually open up a, a kind of a path here that will lead you to one of Patrick's missing socks. And uh, this is like one of the few socks in the entire game where you actually have to pay a pay like a, a toll booth, to be, a, a toll to get to. By toll, I mean the clam. 
Now, basically, you just have to like plat do some platforming on these on these uh, conveyor belts while avoiding these electric generator things, whatever those things are called. There, I don't know what those things are called that are um, rolling on the conveyor belts. I don't know what those things are called actually. But whatever, it doesn't matter what they're called. Either way, we still made it to the song again. Again, stupid. Either way, that's. Is that seriously my catchphrase for this Let's Play? Because I don't like it. I, I seriously hate it. It's got to be annoying everyone by now. It seriously has to be. Alright, that's 42. And we're now ready to move on to the fourth area. Which is the Rolling Ball Arena. Oh my god, now I remember this. Oh my god, this, this room, oh my god, I'm not looking forward to it, definitely not, this, this room right here is the one reason to hate the Mermelair, this room right here, and you will see how, see why, I don't know why I said see hi, you will see why here in a sec. Look boy, there's gold under that glass. Gold, I say! My eyes are getting sweaty just looking at it! All you have to do is get that great big ball into that there cup! Simple, right? Well, not exactly. How do I get the ball rolling, Mr. Krabs? You start the process by bubble bowling up this ramp to hit that button. And that's not even the hardest part. Good luck, SpongeBob! My wallet's counting on you! See, they make it look easy right here. What Mr. Krabs explained there, they make it sound really easy. But just wait till you actually start doing it. It's gonna be a hell of a ride trying to get that ball into this cup, which is kind of weird because it's really close to it. You know where the where the balls are generated, where the cup is, They're really close to each other. But no, you're gonna be rolling that ball all the way around this room, literally, just to get it into that cup. And over there, right there, we just press the last security override button, so that's that taken care of. So here we go. Let's get this. Let's get this ball rolling. Okay. Please, please. Oh. Please, please, please. Thank you. Okay. All right. Here we go. So once you take care of that, you can now... Okay, when you see when you see the ball right here, when you see, once you see it, yeah, press this button right here. Then, head on up here. Quickly, as quickly as possible, get up here. Get onto this pressure plate. Okay, now for the hardest part, coming up right here. This next part is the hardest part. Press this button. And now, this part right here, you have to... I don't know what you have to do here, but all I know is that you have to not screw it up. Yep. See right there? See what I, that one little mistake I made right there? Because of that one little mistake, we have to start this all over. Yep. But we'll do that in the next episode, okay? So, next time on Let's Play Battle for King Bomb... We're going to take on the rolling ball arena of the Mermelair. See you guys then. Multiclass Gamer signing out. Thanks for watching episode 21. I will see you guys later. Bye.